Hello my friends, welcome to all my new and returning subscribers to my Southern Kitchen and the 353rd episode here on Ellen's Homemade Delights. I'm Ellen, hope all you're doing well and being healthy and safe. Are you a potato lover? Well, I got a great recipe that will satisfy your craving and makes a great crowd pleaser. We're gonna make mashed potato casserole. And my friends, this is the bomb.com. It's gonna be so delicious, simple and easy to make, and it's gonna be full of potato goodness. And if you're looking for a change from ordinary mashed potatoes, y'all gonna love this recipe. It'd be great to serve with chicken, pork chops, meatloaf. Everybody's going to enjoy this. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And also check out my side dishes playlist and my previous video, Southern Cheese Biscuits. I also post a link to those down below in the description box. So grab your baking dish, your instant potatoes, and your hash brown sugar, cause we're about to bake some mashed potato casserole magic in my Southern kitchen. Here we go. All right, my friends, I have a large pot of water boiling on the stove and I added some salt. We're gonna add in four cups of frozen diced hash browns. Give that a quick stir. And we're gonna let the potatoes cook for about five minutes. All right, my friends, I'm through cooking my hash browns and I drained them. Now we're ready to make the casserole. In my large bowl, I have one eight ounce package of butter and herb flavor instant potatoes. And we're gonna add in four ounces, which is half of an eight ounce carton of soft and cream cheese bread and one stick, which is a half a cup of unsalted butter, also softened. A half a cup of room temperature sour cream. one cup of my favorite cheese kobe jack or you can use any cheese of your choice a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and salt and black pepper to taste and our liquids i'm using one cup of hot evaporated milk my favorite ingredient and one cup of hot water and the hash browns. And all we do is stir all these ingredients together until it's well incorporated. It's gonna be so creamy. Anything with cream cheese is amazing. Mmm, I can smell the herbs and the instant potatoes. Smells wonderful. Alrighty, my friends. Our potato mixture is done. Now we're ready to pour it into the pan. We're going to pour it in the 9 times 13 inch long baking pan that agrees with butter. Alrighty, my friends, now ready to put our mashed potato casserole in the oven. We're going to put it in the preheated 350 degree oven and we're going to let it bake for about 35 to 45 minutes. All right, I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I have taken my mashed potato casserole out of the oven, nice and golden brown. Mmm, and it smells incredible up in this kitchen. So now it's time to add our last ingredient. We're going to put some french fried onions right on top. And I'm using two cups. Going to give it a nice crunch. Alright, so now we're going to put the casserole back in the oven for about 
five to eight minutes until the onions is golden brown. All right, my friends, there you have it. Mashed potato casserole. Don't that look good? And the french fried onions is nice and brown. All right, now time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Mm-mm. Full of flavor. And I love that crunch from the french fried onions. This would make a great side dish. Please give this recipe a try. Mashed potato casserole licious. My friends, many thanks so much for watching and joining me in my southern kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video and this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like comment, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. And I'll see you next time. Let's eat and much love.